guys, today I'm going to be talking about a amazing uh, experience at game day. So I went to game day. Uh, the store I go to only has one game day play mat, which I don't feel I feel like advanced stores get two, but if you're not advanced, you get one. And we there was a lot of little kids because all the bigger kids were at Star City's games in IQ. And what happened was. Uh, there was one kid who I always see, his deck is not very good. It is like, unlike the other little kids, the deck is about the right size for a deck. It's probably like 65 cards and he has a sideboard. Um, he goes, he plays, he comes to this place to play all the time. And, you know, he actually, <laughs> now I'll, I'm not going to lie to you, he beat me for the play mat. And that, you know, I felt really happy for him. Uh, I was playing a Dodo deck. I, what deck was Mono Red Burn? I was playing Burn. And I ran out of Burn spells, but he was playing a deck, and it just made him so happy to win that play mat. To he's about when well, I mean a little kid. I mean like he's like twelve. Like he's not like an infant or something. And so it's quite amazing that a twelve-year-old can beat you, and you can feel good about it. And I feel good about it because he's been coming to that store. So about two and a half years, and he doesn't do that well in Friday Night Magic. And he didn't just beat me, he beat my friend too, who is like more aggressive, I guess, aggressive of a Magic player. And that's fantastic. Um, absolutely fantastic that, um, and at the same event, I got beat by a female Magic player. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I still top eight. I mean, it was hard not to top eight, there was only ten people. <laughs> so, uh, and I knew I just wanted to play and have a good time and not play, be, um, but that really, that really, uh, speaks volumes about, you know, where I, how much progress I've made, uh, enjoying the game. So back, you know, maybe even two years ago, or I was thinking about making money from the game, you know, just sharking little kids, doing all this really stuff that I look at right now. And it's kind of embarrassing that I would even like. And now, like, you know, I made the guy's deck. I made the little kid's deck who won. And I know I made the deck because he beat me with the cards I actually gave him. <laughs> so, I gave him, uh, what was it? I traded him for Heroes Downfall. He was playing uh, Mardu. So, he was playing the deck I built. You know, I, it's very close to the deck tech I had. It just has, like, five extra cards. And he won with it. And I was just like, I couldn't be more happy. This also happened at Groovy Geckos too. There was a, I forget his name, but um, I built his deck and then he got better and better and better and then eventually he started winning games. And, you know, it's so, it's pretty fantastic that someone who's passionate about this game uh, can meet other people who are passionate about the game, which are different from them. And, yeah, it's, it's just... You know, I couldn't, I couldn't, I could not have been more proud of him because he made, I mean, he went there like every, he's gone to every Friday Night Magic, even the ones that I don't go to, like he'll be there. And for the fact, man, like he beat me and my friend who's my age, in case that matters, but yeah. And then um, there was a female Magic player who I haven't seen or like, I, I believe she's been to the store before. I just never have seen her because sometimes I don't go to that store. And she's very good, like extremely good. So it makes me very happy to see a diverse, uh, she's actually older than I am. I feel like she's like 40 years old, maybe. Um, but she's a little older and our store is so diverse and that just makes me happy. There's people who are, you know, very athletic, I guess would be the way I put it like jocks, I guess, and then there's like people who are nerds, there's people who like computer programming, there's people who likes to do raspberry pies. Um, that's a nerd joke in case you guys didn't, didn't pick up on that. Um, yeah, it's just so fast, fantastic that all these different people uh, can play magic together. And you know, it's the skill level is not based on how much you make. I know I made that video ranting about that, but at this particular place, Everyone plays Dodo decks. Like everyone plays. My friend was playing a um, what was that? Nadering or Tower Turtle? Like that really green turtle dude that 
is terrible, and he was playing that deck, and I was playing a deck that was mono. <laughs> I called it Phoenix deck, because I had all the Phoenixes from the past sets. This Phoenix is definitely one of my favorite. My AOL username was Shivering Phoenix. I love Phoenixes, so I was like, oh, I'll just take my Phoenix burn deck. And it was so bad. But I loved it, you know, I loved it. I mean, it was, there's that Phoenix with Tribute. There's that uh, new Phoenix that dies and becomes a morph. There's that new Phoenix from Betrayer, Betrayers, well, no, not Betrayer. No, was it? I'm forgetting these, there's a Phoenix from Born of the Gods. I think there's a Phoenix from Journey to Nyx. And there's a Mythic Phoenix from Fate Reforged. And there's also a Mythic Phoenix from Clones of Tarkir. And if, is there a Phoenix from M? I have to look at the deck, but anyway, it's just a fun deck to play. And when I go to play at this particular place, and my friends play there, they have very good collections as well. I uh, just generally understood that we're there to have fun and play decks that we normally don't play. And if you told me that I would be playing a Phoenix deck uh, two years ago and instead, and I would be losing to a little kid, I would have been pissed. I would have been, no, that's never going to happen. I'm only going to play the tier one decks. But uh, you know what? I had a wonderful time, and uh, I feel I feel like that's what magic is about. Magic is so amazing because it doesn't matter who you are or what city. It doesn't even matter what city you live in. You can be moving, and you just go to your locals, make friends, and you have a common interest. You could be the absolute most different people, but if you're there fighting that magic, guess what? You both like magic. Uh, and that's fantastic, and I, it just brings a smile to my face that he beat me because because um, of how much I have changed my perspective about how hey it used to be we should just make money from magic now it's you know enjoy magic as a game it will cost you a little bit of money but hopefully we can make it a little cheaper I don't know it just makes me happy bye guys.